and you're welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today we're doing the Lego Spider-Man um, Venom Crawler attack set, which comes with three minifigures, two builds, and uh, yeah, let's, let's take a look at the Spider-Man buggy. Uh, we have a sticker here, um, and enough space to fit one minifigure inside. Sat down or stood up. Uh, we put Spider-Man in here because you know it's his car. But the, as you can see, there's a steering wheel in there. There is a nice blue windshield sticker there, and two stud shooters in red. And if you push the grey piece down, the white piece will go flying. Um, we have a little energy thing here, which gives energy to the car. You can lift up this grill at the back and put it back down. This is a small build of the set. This is Spider Man's build. This isn't necessary. They've got to put more detail into the spider and got rid of this, but Spider-Man needs a vehicle, obviously. There is some nice sloped pieces and some detail all around it. And yeah, cool build for the spider buggy. Um, and moves pretty well. You can also move the lights up and down. And yeah, that's about it. So moving on to the next build, which is the Venom Crawler. which is here, who has a nice printed dish piece, creeping mouth piece, a nice vine piece in red for a tongue, and we have stickers here, 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 here which are all identical. All the legs are an identical build, barring uh, these four are identical here, and then the back two and the front two are identical, because these have a ball joint on them, and these have Technic connection. There is also a sticker here with some Technic connection there. And there is a stud shooter on the back which shoots out black studs. Don't know what this is, it's like a little purple energy thing. And enough room for both venomized characters to sit down. In there we got Carnage and Venomized Iron Man. And if we flip it upside down, there's a little wheel in there which you can see where if you roll it, the front two and the back two legs move up and down. Sometimes it will knock this off because this just comes up and pushes it. But I like this piece that makes it move all together. And you can pose these legs up and out of the way so that they don't drag along the ground. Or you can make them all prop up so then it doesn't fall over. Or it doesn't wheel across the ground. You can pose this in many different ways, which is very cool, and I can see it attracted lots of uh, people to buy it. Um, I do like this build. Everyone's complaining that there's too many Venom sets coming out, but I like Venom. He's my favorite Spider-Man villain, always has been, and um, yeah, I like all this attention Venom's getting, and uh, I'm gonna buy them all. Uh, so we've got some figures. We have the basic Spider-Man that comes in all the new sets recently. It's the new updated one with the dual molded legs. Nice torso print, nice face print. No arm printing, sadly, but some good back torso and back head printing. Uh, this one came out last year, I think, and has been used ever since. Moving on to the next minifigure, which is Carnage, which was used in the... Miles Morales in Spider-Man set last year with the spider bike. Same print and stuff, but still really cool. And uh, it's our second carnage to come out of Lego. He also comes with this mace, which has some red teeth pieces coming out. Still cool to get carnage. He's pretty cool. And uh, he's going to be in the Venom 2 film that's coming out. And moving on to the last figure, the exclusive figure to this set, Venomized Iron Man. And if we take all the blue stuff out of his hands and feet, we get a better look at his torso print and mask print. The face print is just the regular Iron Man one, uh, with the hood showing on this side and the regular face on the other side. But the Venom is not taking it over fully. For the right arm is still unvenomized and red, but it is the suit from the Avengers game sets. Uh, 
very detailed. I like it. I also like the helmet. I think it's a cool helmet. Everyone does. No one likes this helmet, but I do. I think it's really cool. And um, it just makes it easier to like get the venom face on. It's very detailed, and it's just easy to print on. And uh, yeah. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.